Our partners at The Gamut are out this week with the biggest issue of the year, spotlighting the best of New Orleans. It's always a great issue. Readers voted on their favorite restaurants, bars, shops, and a lot more. And the results are in this week's issue of The Gambit. This morning, we're taking a closer look at some of the restaurant's winners. And joining us is The Gambit Arts and Entertainment Editor, Will Cabello. Will, uh, another big year for The Gambit and another big year for a lot of restaurants. But boy, things have changed from last year. Uh, yeah, this has been a strange year for restaurants and, uh, you know, I mean, it certainly didn't discourage people from voting and there's new restaurants that have opened during the pandemic. So, I mean, there is some normalcy coming from uh, the restaurant world. Yeah. And, and for a restaurant opening during the pandemic, that's a pretty gutsy move. So let's go with who is who is the best new restaurant? Well, the best new restaurant opened at the end of last year. It's Nola K in uh, the warehouse district. Um, the owners, Brooke and uh, Brian Zarr actually, uh, they've, they've got a lot of experience in the local re restaurant industry. They uh, bought a restaurant de famille on the West Bank a while ago, and then they saw an opportunity and they opened this kind of Caribbean inspired restaurant. Um, it's got a lot of tropical flavors. It's got uh, stuff from around the Caribbean, like, you know, some Cuban dishes. It's got like Jamaican style uh, oxtail uh, stew and uh, like a, um, a jerk chicken. So. Uh, they also kind of brighten a lot of plates and seafood with tropical fruits, so it's kind of a real bright spot in uh, the Domeo Hotel down in the warehouse district. Okay, and best chef went to a great chef. Yeah, Nina Compton um, has been popular in New Orleans since before she lived here. You know, everybody should probably, a lot of people remember her from being on uh, Top Chef's uh, New Orleans season. Anyway, she obviously opened Compare La Pen, which was very well received in the warehouse district. Um, you know, in 2018, she opened her second restaurant, uh, Bywater American Bistro. That year, she won a James Beard Award for Best Chef South. Bywater American Bistro had se just celebrated its second, like, anniversary when the pandemic showed up. So, uh, you know, it's kind of been a tougher year for her, but uh, she just reopened Bywater American Bistro. And of late, she's been in the media. Uh, the New Yorker wrote a glowing profile of her and her career and her work. Um, kind of rethinking some, you know, or expanding New Orleans cuisine. Um, so she remains popular with our readers, and, you know, she's kind of got a bigger voice nationally. So it's, it's no surprise she topped that category. And she's just a wonderful person. And this year, because of COVID-19, uh, we are having so many outdoor restaurants that are just the place to be now. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's finding either space on the sidewalk or, or courtyard space. So, yeah, I mean, that's... You know, probably, you know, something that, that uh, a lot of restaurants, like, probably are overdue for adding. Like, our voters' favorite outdoor spot was Velvet Cactus, which is this kind of, like, Tex-Mex Americana uh, oasis in Lakeview. Yeah. It's got a lot of bright, kitschy colors. It had a huge, uh, like, brick courtyard, fenced-in brick courtyard before. Um, they've now expanded that so that almost their entire parking lot has got little umbrella-covered tables, and, you know, it's, it's, it's just a really welcome kind of yeah. open space in Lakeview. And then you also do best curbside pickup, because that's really important. And you pick two restaurants that did a, a stellar job. Well, our voters were really happy with, with we had a tie. I mean, uh, Blue Oak Barbecue, which also won Best Barbecue, uh, they were a really uh, early entrant into figuring out curbside takeout. They started doing family meals in these, like, cold packs uh, in late March. So they really kind of hit the ground running. They figured it out early. Um, and, you know, they, they do a little tent pickup station in the restaurant. Even now, they've kind of kept up with the... Uh, changes in the phases so you can dine there uh, but their pickup situation is is still pretty well organized and then also voters like Zia which has many uh, locations throughout the area and uh, Zia's really kind of got the whole the whole deal figured out yeah. whether you want to dine in or do curbside pickup um, they've got their full menu they're also doing family packs so um, those were our readers two favorite choices and then best balcony for dining is a no-brainer to me yeah, I mean, uh, the balcony at Tableau is, was always popular for views of Jackson Square, but it is a really huge balcony. Um, that's obviously Dickie Brennan's yeah. restaurant on, on the corner there, joining Le Petit Theater. Um, it's got a really huge balcony on both the Charter Street side and the St. Peter Street side, so it's not surprising they can accommodate a lot of guests. They've also got a wonderful interior courtyard, and, uh, you know, they're like, if, you're, if you want to take out, you can also read right there in Jackson Square. So, you know, Dick, 
Tableau is really kind of uh, like doing everything it can to help people dine outside. Uh, all right, Will, thank you very much. You can check out Gambit's Best of New Orleans issue online at bestofneworleans.com or you can pick up a free copy in print all over town. And coming up tomorrow morning, we'll take a look at the winners in the entertainment categories.